Welcome ladies and gentlemen on how you can beat your child and justifiably so. Now I'm not condoning that you should beat your child. I'm actually telling you that you should beat your child in certain circumstances. Don't be an abusive crazy person. Be justifiably correct in what you do. Being stupid. Now children will act stupid. They'll be the type that will drive cars fast, do something crazy, might break a bone. At that point, slap them. Because you don't need that kind of stress in your life. And I think the best type of solution is if someone makes you panic. <laughs> what is my son doing? Daddy, I'm okay. I just broke. That, that, is, that is the solution. You, you, before you even, you have any stress, you know, the best, best solution is to get rid of your stress, just slap it out of, slap it out of them. Because they're the ones that screwed up. Now, getting a boyfriend and girlfriend is a concept that I am not familiar with and neither are as many people that I know out there. They just are familiar with doing weird stuff over the internet. So, what I'm here to tell you is if you've got a boyfriend and a girlfriend, guess what? You're gonna get a couple of these because girlfriend and boyfriend did not exist many, many, many like decades ago. It is like something that is coming about that's new. If you like someone, you like them, you go, you go, you know, if you find out their name, you go talk to the parents, the parents then talk to their parents. They have like a little bit of a dig, dig dance. They drink tea, they drink cookies, they eat food, they do all sorts of things and then finally say deal close get them married get them shipped off and that's it if anything else happens kada, 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 kada. you know what i mean that's what you get don't you try anything stupid and weird i know some people are going stupid but but everyone has a boyfriend and girlfriend why can't i well guess what if everyone was jumping off a cliff would you yes i would because technically if i jumped off a cliff i wouldn't be alone anymore if you're making a crazy answer like that well guess what you gotta know what happens that before before you even jump off the cliff to join those other crazy people i will have a bungee cord wrapped around myself i will i will basically watch you falling and then i will slap you like a hundred 50 times and then I'll just watch you just go down and at that point I'll be like laughing I'll be like coming back up and down I'm like ha, ha, ha. you know what I mean so don't even try anything stupid like that let me tell you Indians are pretty much doctors lawyers engineers classic jobs okay when people start to say that I want to become an actor or like something like you know I want to learn how to do basket weaving what are you going to do with basket weaving or what are you going to be I mean acting <laughs> You might think that talking back to your parents is such a cool thing. I stuck it to the man. But let me tell you, if you think you're going to stick it to this man, well, this man is going to stick something to your face very soon. You don't talk back to me. You don't talk back to your mommy. You don't talk back to your daddy. And in some cases, sometimes you will think, well, I'm going to run away from home. Well, if you run away from home, guess what? Before you do, you're going to get about 400 slaps and then you're going to think twice about whether you're going to do that. Now, I love this one. When everyone says that they have a cold, there are no such thing as colds, there's only allergies. You might be thinking, but no, I have a cold. No, you don't have colds. You have an allergy, go to school, you better go study, and you better go get all the A straight A's. If you don't get those straight A's, and I see one B, the one B, if I see that, you know what I mean? For every B, you gotta slap. For a C, you better be, you better be ready, because you're gonna get the people's elbow. And if I see a D, <laughs> Don't even ask me what happens if you get an F. F equals that you have been F'd. Literally. I mean, at that point, you'll get your report card and be like, there's an F. Great, I'm F'd here and I'm going to be F'd over there. If you lie, everyone finds out. And at that point, you better pray to God that you can run as fast as Carl Lewis. Thank you everyone for watching. Please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, please make sure that you don't take any of these points that I've mentioned to heart, because if you do, you might get arrested. So therefore, don't, I'm no expert on, on parenthood. I, I, I'm not a parent. So you, if you think that you know what you're doing, then that's all on you. Don't take it back on me. This is a comedy show. It is, it is healthy for little children, and it is, it is definitely therapeutic for parents. So with that being said, please make sure you come back Thursday because we're gonna have some more footage for you then. New videos every Tuesdays and every Thursdays. Daddy, when you're at school, daddy is working out. He's just building up strength for chapairs.